experience time and place, time and place intensely. You had a cuckoo? You had a cuckoo? I do. It was so loud. I do. All night. You remember your dreams better than I do. But actually, last night, I, I woke up because I remember the dreams with, with a lot of details, just like, just like you. You know, I remember actual, convers you know, word for word conversation. It's kind of funny. It's, I think it's because, I think one can actually you know, if you, you ha if you have the intention, you want to remember the dream, and you want to dream something, you can you can kind of talk to your unconscious and say, give it a remember. task. Um, yes, I think it was it was quite interesting the dream I had. I was in New York. Um, try to remember. Freedom is important. Freedom in the anarchist way. I talked to a young man and I asked him where he lived and he said he lived in, in Brooklyn. 
and he was working for the club, so he was an, he was an employee, and he was very polite, kind of polite to me because I was a patron and he was uh, someone who was working there. But I also live in Brooklyn, and I asked him, "Where do you live in Brooklyn?" I want to know. I'm in Brooklyn. It's, it's big. No, it's a difference. And then he started talking about Williamsburg and how how people, uh, you know, young people, young artists had to move out of Williamsburg. It was this kind of really detailed conversation. How amazing it is, you know. I'm in New York for a couple of weeks, and it feels like I never left. This is what it was to be. I, I felt like oh, I never left. This is where I, this is where I belong. It looks like you have nail polish on. I know. The big clock used to strike the hours, every hour, and you could hear it across the lake all the way to, to my house and my mother's house over on the other side of the lake. And I have kind of spooky memories also of having slept in a guest room with my little sister when we were quite small, all alone, and close to the clock, and you could hear the clock beating like a heart. It was like an Edgar Allan Poe story. And we were so scared. We, we were terrified because we were completely alone on that whole floor. My mother grew up here at Eriksberg Castle. She was the, the oldest sibling of five. And uh, so her name uh, was Ingel Bunde. The family's name is Bunde. So, the family I have, on my father's side, I have no family. My father was born in Vienna, and I, I know only him. I have no family members. So this is the family, the sense of family I have is my mother's family, which is a very old family because it goes back to the 1200s. So this is, and it's a kind of a massive idea of family, really, really old. It's one of the oldest families in the country. There was even um, a king in the 1400s called Karl Knutsson Bunde. It's history, basically. The light in here, which is coming from the big windows, the daylight, shining on the, the gilded sculptures and reliefs, and that is next to a whitish, off-white, pale gray color, uh, which is a combination of, of white pigment with, with um, a traditional black pigment, which is derived from soot. And it gives a, a kind of bluish, grayish color is still in use. I don't, I don't feel really religious in here, it's not. I was brought up first Protestant, then Catholic, then Jewish, because I married a Jew and I converted, I learned Hebrew, Sufism, and Buddhism, and, and Taoism. In my life, I had, I've had a lot of pain and sorrow in the past. What I do regret is when, that I was far away at certain times in, in life when I, and not really, you know, far, too far away and not there when my father died and I wasn't here when my mother died either. And, um, for my best friend committed suicide. Although I was, I was on the phone with her, but I wasn't there and I wasn't at her funeral because I had small children then and I was in New York. That's generally the sense that I have, that I was too, not there at certain times when I would have liked to be there for other people. You know, 
there's um, the experience is, is of, of sorrow, and deep sorrow is certainly there, and pain. The tradition was at that time that the oldest son inherits uh, everything and all the other siblings are uh, going their way. So that was, uh, that was the tradition. And my mother's dream when she was a child growing up here and being very, living a very, very protected life and she was not allowed to move out of the, of the park, of the garden, she, that was, she was confined here. And um, she didn't really like that. Her dream was to live in a small red cottage by the lake, which she later did. She, she followed her dream. So she escaped her um, overprotected life in the, in the castle. And she married an artist. And there was uh, like a big uh, scandal. And a foreigner, which is a no-no. She was kind of rebellious. and. Um, they were both very romantic and poetic and not really practical, but they did. They were passionate. Jag ser hur du har det på väg till startup idag och kommer att vara där hela veckan. Vi hörs, kram, hej!
tappat rösten lite, men Gurs är det inte jag som ska sjunga, utan det är målningarna som får sjunga. My name is Dick Darby, I'm a cobbler. I served in my time at Dull Champ. Some called me an old agitator, but now I'm resolved to repent. With an ing ping and an ing ping and an I don't. With an ink ting and an ink ping and an ID, with me rubo bo rubo bo randy, and me love stone keeps beating away. And then, oh, my father was hung for sheep's. Me mother was born for a witch. Me sister's a dandy housekeeper, and I'm a mechanical switch. With an ing ting and an ing ping and an I don't. With an ing ting and an ing ping and an I do. With me, rubo, bo, rubo, bo, randy, and me love stone keeps baiting away. 